Hello everyone! Today I will introduce you to two apps that are perfect for design work with text in the image. The apps I will be introducing are Fonto and Adobe Comp. Both of them are free. Fonto is recommended for beginners and Adobe Comp is for intermediate users. Fonto, as the name suggests, is a great app that helps adjust text and fonts like these as you can see. For Adobe Comp, I've uploaded a video on it before, but it's a perfect app when creating layouts. There's also a great selection of text, so I highly recommend it. Alright, let's start with Fonto. You see a blank sheet at first, but import a photo from the camera icon at the bottom to start. I'm going to use this picture of a dog this time. When you import a photo, you can put filters, but I suggest not doing it here. So just import a photo without any filters on. Once imported, the image appears on screen. The import image resizes to the canvas dimensions. This means that you can customize the width by adjusting pixel values. This is partially why I think this app is suited for beginners since fine adjustments are limited. When adding text tap somewhere on the screen, add text area will appear. Start typing here to insert your text. Once you tap done, you see text on your screen. You can adjust details later. They already have many fonts implemented, so it's really easy to use. On a side note, I assume there may be times when you want to use your own fonts, or you want to use fonts from your Mac or PC in your iPad. I uploaded a video a while ago detailing how to install fonts on your iPad. So if you follow the steps explained, you get to use your own fonts on apps too. So feel free to check it out as well. What's great about this app is the, the ease of text adjustments. There is just so much here that it makes it hard to believe it's a free app. You can perform adjustments using these sliders. For instance, text size, color, and spacing between letters can be changed using sliders. It's really important to have these sliders as we don't have keyboards for easy entry of numeric values in text. In addition, hiding an Apple Pencil with your right hand makes it inconvenient to type in numbers. That's why apps with sliders like this one comes in really handy. So those who want to insert text on an image, I suggest using an app with sliders. At last, I'm going to make small adjustments and finish up the design. As for the downsides of this app, you may have noticed the ads at the top. It's a free app so we can't really complain, but I still find it a bit intrusive. Also, there is no canvas settings. So even if you want to trim this image to square later on, it's impossible. And there's no history. When you decide to create a new design, the one you're currently working on will be gone. But all in all, this app is the best when you want to insert text quickly. Lastly, I'm going to export and complete. Next, let's move on to Adobe Comp. A screen like this shows up when you open Adobe Comp. First, create a canvas from the plus button at the bottom right. And once you set your canvas, you're going to create design by adding images. There is an image tab at the top right, so from there, click on from my device and then position your photo from your camera roll by dragging it from the corner like this. You can adjust the image size as well. 
you could place two, three, or more images, and when you double tap, you could enlarge or shrink the image. When inserting text, click on the T tab at the top right here, where you can choose your letter size from large, medium, and small, so pick one of your choice. And just like with the app Fonto mentioned earlier, you can adjust details using sliders. Everything including the text size, color, and spacing can be adjusted by sliders. I don't know how many times I said sliders today, but these two apps are the only apps where you can do everything with sliders, and that's why I chose them today. Once you're done, export to JPEG. You may export your design or Adobe Com from the export icon at the top. Select Share Images and then tap on Save Images. Now the image is saved in your camera roll. All the designs are complete as you can see. Today I try making a black and white design using Fonto and Adobe Com. If you happen to know any other apps where you can edit using sliders, I would like to know about it, even if it's a paid app, so please leave me a comment down below. Alright, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.